Good day everyone and welcome back to the third instalment of SCP Summarize looking at SCPs 200 to 299. Please be aware this video will contain aspects of implied violence and sensitive subjects and without further ado let's begin. The following data release has been authorised by the following council members and administration staff. SCP-200 Chrysalis SCP-200 is a chrysalis not unlike that of a caterpillar undergoing metamorphosis into a butterfly. The chrysalis is full of a fluid that matches the DNA of the child who retreated into the chrysalis at the age of 13. Though it is mostly dormant, it has been observed to twitch periodically. SCP-201 The Empty World SCP-201 is an old piece of hospital equipment resembling that of an IV stand. Entering within 30 meters of the IV stand will cause a person to be transported to an alternate dimension. The dimension resembles Earth but with several anomalies including heavy fog, no animal or plant life, and intermittent broadcasts from the SCP Foundation alluding to an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-202 The Rewind Man SCP-202 is an Asian-British male who does everything in reverse including eating, walking, breathing, speaking, and using the bathroom. SCP-203 – Tortured Iron Soul SCP-203 is a Caucasian male whose skeleton has been replaced with a mechanical framework that operates independently from his muscles and brain. Multiple body parts have been replaced with robotic counterparts, some protrude from the skin, and the subject has been noted as stating his existence as miserable. SCP-204 The Protector SCP-204-1 is a semi-organic nanomachine colony that follows and protects SCP-204-2. It is usually always in a dispersed form like that of a cloud. If commanded to by Dash-2, or if Dash-2 is threatened, it will become solid and defend Dash-2 as well as obeying any command given. Dash 2 is always a child ranging from 4 to 14 years old. Once the child dies, or reaches the age of 14, Dash 1 will abandon the child to find a new one to protect. SCP-205 Shadow Lamps SCP-205 is a pair of flood lamps used in photography. They follow a cycle where they will cast shadows on a surface that depict a sequence of graphic events involving the assault and murder of a woman by a number of horned individuals. If a person enters the room with the lights during an active cycle, they will be assaulted in the same manner as the woman by an unknown assailant. SCP-206 The Voyager SCP-206 is a Martian exploratory rover that was sent to Mars and then became non-functional. Since then, it has reactivated and periodically sends images from multiple locations including parts of the Moon, Mars, and Earth. Its current location is unknown. SCP-207 – Cola Bottles SCP-207 refers to a crate containing 24 Coca-Cola brand cola drinks. The liquid inside contains higher levels of caffeine, sugar, and a classified other. Drinking the liquid will cause the consumer to no longer rest or sleep and will greatly increase the subject's ability to think, react and move. Subjects usually expire within 24 to 48 hours due to organ failure or ruptured arteries. SCP-208 Bess SCP-208 is a male of Egyptian descent who has the ability to induce rapid cellular regeneration and reconfiguration of organic life, essentially healing most physical ailments. He is friendly, jovial, and works alongside Site-17 staff in the medical ward as a medical assistant. SCP-209 The Sadist Tumbler SCP-209 is a self-refilling single malt scotch tumbler. When two people are in the immediate vicinity and one drinks from the tumbler, its anomalous properties will manifest. The non-drinker will not be able to move too far or too close to or from the drinker. Through verbal indications, the drinker can cause the non-drinker great physical distress or harm, which can result in the death of the non-drinker. Exposure to SCP-209 is addictive. SCP-210 
Flooded House. SCP-210 is a two-story mansion flooded to a depth of 4.35 meters by an unknown fluid resembling water. Direct contact with the substance will result in a person entering a comatose state. They will then begin to drift through the house while a continuous stream of bubbles will stream from their mouths. Subjects cannot be removed from the fluid. SCP-211 Paper-Covered Building SCP-211 is a two-story building in a state of disrepair. Every inch of the building appears to be covered in sheets of paper from a variety of books. Attempts to remove large quantities of paper or to destroy the building will result in the paper becoming animate and attacking the aggressor. SCP-212 The Improver SCP-212 is a large medical device with three large robotic arms. If a living organism gets too close, SCP-212 will restrain the organism and begin to improve it. Improvements that have been observed include replacement of biological organs with artificial ones, addition of metal plates to bones, and addition of new or duplicate organs, among many others. The process is invasive, excruciating, and in 47% of cases has resulted in death. SCP-213 Antimatter Parasite SCP-213 is a humanoid male who can forcibly sever the bonds between atoms in any solid or semi-solid matter by way of physical contact. A bright light is emitted during the process, as well as causing SCP-213 extreme pain. SCP-214 Hematopian Virus SCP-214 is a former SCP agent who has undergone a number of physical and mental changes as a result of investigating a classified incident. Most bodily fluids have been replaced with a mercury-like substance, pain is experienced as pleasure, and some injuries can be fully healed in seconds while others will not heal at all. SCP-215 Paranoia-Inducing Spectacles SCP-215 is a pair of prescription glasses. When worn, the wearer will begin to perceive inanimate objects as sentient and capable of communication. The severity differs from wearer to wearer, and prolonged exposure will result in wearers developing an irrational fear of all inanimate objects. SCP-216 The Safe SCP-216 is an iron safe with a multiple dial combination lock. Each combination leads to a new space for which an object can be stored. The only way to retrieve the item is to enter a corresponding combination. It is unknown how many objects are stored within SCP-216, and there is estimated to be 4 million compartments. SCP-217 The Clockwork Virus SCP-217 is an incurable virus that is contagious through skin-to-skin -skin contact. The virus slowly converts all organic matter into an organic metal that will form an arrangement of intricate gears and clockwork. SCP-218 Lamprey Mass Organism SCP-218 is a predatory colonial organism consisting of several hundred parasitic lampreys. The main organism holds all the internal organs, however individual organisms may break away from the main organism to hunt. A bite from an SCP-218 organism will result in total muscle paralysis that will not wear off. SCP-219 Resonance Engine SCP-219 is a resonance machine based on Tesla's oscillator. It was originally found in the epicenter of the location of an earthquake. Multiple dead bodies were found in the area, of which none were attributed to death from the earthquake, but massive internal cranial trauma including several cases where the entire skull had apparently exploded. SCP-220 Two's Company SCP-220 is a multiracial English-speaking human male who possesses two different personalities and often switches between the both of them. Each has a different tone, voice, and posture. It is unknown if this is a psychological issue or deliberate. SCP-221 Compulsion Tweezers SCP-221 are a pair of gold tweezers that compel users to remove all their body hair, nails, teeth, eyes, and all other internal and external organs. SCP-222 
clone coffin. SCP-222 is an area of tunnels filled with a number of coffins. One coffin in particular will cause a person to fall asleep within 15 minutes if they lay inside it. An indeterminate amount of time later the subject will awaken. 24 hours after waking up, a clone of the person will be found in the tunnels. The clone is identical to the original in every way. SCP-223 – A Photo Album SCP-223 is a photo album depicting a woman apparently cheating on her fiancé with another man. Anyone reading the photo album who is also in a relationship will see their partner with the man as well and become convinced their partner is being unfaithful. SCP-224 – Grandfather Clock SCP-224 is a grandfather clock. Its internal workings, the arrangement of its numbers, and the movements of its hands are all inconsistent. Its chimes also occur at non-regular intervals and create an anomalous acoustic signature that causes people to age up to seven years in a matter of seconds. SCP-225 – Unstoppable and Immovable SCP-225 are a pair of grey metallic spheres. One is located on Earth and another is located in space. Both are completely immovable and no weaponry or science can stop their movement. The Earth-bound sphere travels around the Earth at the exact speed the Earth is rotating, so it appears to never move. The sphere in space appears to orbit the Sun, however Earth in fact orbits the sphere. SCP-226 Puzzle of Terror SCP-226 is a typical jigsaw puzzle within a cardboard box. When the box is opened, the puzzle pieces will change to an image of what the opener considers their greatest fear. Noted images include gallows, dead bodies, being buried alive, and an image of SCP-682. SCP-227 – Complete Antikythera Mechanism SCP-227 is a clockwork device resembling the Antikythera Mechanism. It is an incredibly accurate device that plots the position of astronomical bodies with near-perfect precision. SCP-228 – Psychiatric Diagnostic Tool SCP-228 is a Polaroid photograph that changes its appearance depending on who is viewing it. It will take the image of something within the subconscious mind of the viewer. This can range from anything such as family members, water, food, pets, etc. SCP-229 – Wireweed SCP-229 is a parasite resembling copper wire, ethernet cables and power cables. It will cling to anything with even the slightest electrical current and form connections to attach to electrical power sources such as USB ports and wall sockets. It will also attack humans and other animals by entering through the skin, enveloping the spine and feeding off electrical brain activity. Subjects will expire soon after due to internal injury and brain damage. SCP-230 – The Gayest Man Alive SCP-230 is a male Caucasian who secretes a substance from his pores that has similar properties to heroin. It evaporates immediately into the air and anyone inhaling the substance will enter a state of euphoria, become addicted, refuse to leave SCP-230's side, and will obey any order given by SCP-230. Withdrawal symptoms are severe and have a 30% mortality rate. SCP-231 – Special Personal Requirements SCP-231 is a pregnant female currently contained in a top-secret location. Should SCP-231 be allowed to give birth, it will result in an XK-class event. The only way to prevent birth is to subject SCP-231 to an unknown procedure called 110 Montauk. The process is secret but apparently involves acts of brutal rape and violence. SCP-231 had six sisters, now deceased, who all gave birth and each time resulted in an XK-class event. SCP-232 – Jack Proton's Atomic Zapper SCP-232 is a children's toy resembling that of a laser gun featured in the Jack Proton Space Cop science fiction novel. When a person holds SCP-232, their voice will take on the tone and characteristics of Jack Proton, the main character. The effect will dissipate once SCP-232 has been relinquished. SCP-233 – 23-sided polyhedron 
SCP-233 is a 23-sided polyhedron. The actual physical makeup of SCP-233 cannot be emulated in 3D or 2D form. SCP-233 alters the laws of mathematics in its vicinity unless calculations are carried out in base 23. Certain numbers within its vicinity will cause violent reactions. This includes, but is not limited to, the length of certain objects or the age of a person. In one case, a doctor was disintegrated. SCP-234 – Extradimensional Fish SCP-234 is a presumed extradimensional species resembling fish. They float in the air and can only exist within a closed airfield space. When such a place exists, SCP-234 will come into existence. If an SCP-234 specimen is startled, killed, or the space breached, then everything within the space will be extradimensionally evacuated, resulting in a vacuum, which will then result in an implosion of the surrounding area. SCP-235 – Phonographic Records SCP-235 are four phonograph records, each with a number of skips or missing audio. When the records are played and reach a skip point, then everything in the area will become inactive until the record resumes. Falling people will freeze in place, breathing will stop and eyes will not blink. Once the record resumes, everyone affected will continue, completely oblivious to the event even happening. SCP-236 – Mimic Crabs SCP-236 are a species of microscopic hive-minded crabs with some artificial components. They will swarm together and take the form of inanimate objects to such a level of precision that it is incredibly difficult to differentiate them from the actual object. They will encircle their prey and attack as a swarm. Humans will usually be attacked while they sleep, which involves specimens entering through the mouth and consuming the victim from the inside. Specimens will violently explode if cornered or unable to escape. SCP-237 – Self-Made Man SCP-237 is a collective term for SCP-237-1 and SCP-237-2. Dash 1 was a Japanese male who apparently gave sapience, sensoria, and independent mobility to a number of clay humanoid figures. During original transport to containment, Dash 1 collapsed into many pieces of clay. The Dash 2 entities are generally cordial and are allowed contact with one another contingent on good behavior. Clay and resin are supplied monthly so the entities may repair any damage or carry out self-maintenance. SCP-238 – Building Complex SCP-238 is a colossal underground facility that has a number of corridors and chambers. Anyone entering the complex will begin to experience hallucinations and hear voices. Anyone entering the complex is to be declared dead and no rescue attempts are to be carried out. The containment wall is currently containing the threat but has been destroyed on eight different occasions by an unknown aggressor. Maintaining the wall is top priority. SCP-239 – The Witch Child SCP-239 is an 8-year-old girl who can emit a form of radiation that, in high concentrations, can break down anything on a subatomic level. She can do seemingly anything she expresses a will to do, so long as it is within a line of sight. When attacked by a D-Class, SCP-239 simply wished the D-Class away, and they vanished. This ability makes her essentially invincible. SCP-240 Breath-Powered Flying Machine SCP-240 is a device capable of air travel by blowing into a mouthpiece connected to two steel drums. For every one newton of force put into the machine, the machine will create 50 newtons of thrust. SCP-241 Good Home Cooking SCP-241 is a cookbook containing around 99 different recipes. If a person views a recipe that is deemed a target by the book, that person will be compelled to follow the recipe and consume the finished product. After doing so, the consumer will die from anaphylactic shock. SCP-242 – Self-Cleaning Pool SCP-242 is a large swimming pool that converts any substance that enters it into pure sterile water. Successful experiments have included sewage, tar, and humans. SCP-243 – Animation 
SCP-243 is an ellipsoid-shaped structure made of household batteries. When an illegible group of objects are brought into the active zone, SCP-243's anomalous properties will manifest. The items will begin to levitate and flock around SCP-243-like birds. Secondarily to flocking, objects tend to behave in ways thematically appropriate to an object of their type. Umbrellas form large shades, knives seek out objects to cut, etc. SCP-244 Ice Fog Jar SCP-244-1 is an earthenware jar with an internal temperature of minus 37 degrees Celsius and 125% humidity. When opened, ice fog vapour will begin to flow from the mouth and affect the local environment. When the surrounding environment reaches minus 37 degrees centigrade and 125% humidity, SCP-244-2 will manifest as a gaseous entity that is attracted to any and all heat sources. When SCP-244-2 comes into contact with a human, they will be flash frozen and subsequently die. SCP-245 SCP-RPG SCP-245 is an SCP role-playing game featuring all SCPs, members of staff, and the ability to become an O5 council member or site director. SCP-246 Prophetic Projector SCP-246 is a 16mm film projector that projects a short film in the style of 1950s educational films. These films take on a prophetic nature. When a D-Class viewed the projection, a film played called So You're Not Going to Live Very Long. The D-Class was terminated at the end of the month. SCP-247 A Harmless Kitten SCP-247 is a Bengal tiger that outwardly creates the illusion that it is a harmless kitten with orange and black fur. A person coming close to SCP-247 will become extremely affectionate and will prevent anyone from harming it, even while the subject is being disemboweled and dismembered by SCP-247. SCP-248 110% SCP-248, a creation of the factory, is a 25-page booklet containing a number of printed stickers that read 110%. When placed on anything, it will begin to operate even better than its maximum potential. When placed on a broken tractor, it will begin to work perfectly, even if it is missing necessary parts. When placed on a computer, it will operate quicker and the hard drive will gain additional storage space. SCP-249 – The Random Door SCP-249 is a faded white door recovered from a house in an undisclosed location. When going through the door, the person or object will exit through another door somewhere within 850 meters. Every 500 uses though, the door will exit to somewhere completely random anywhere in the world. SCP-250 Most of an Allosaurus SCP-250 is an animate skeleton of an Allosaurus and behaves in a manner akin to the presumed behavior of one. It mostly roams around its enclosure all day and will attack and consume anything it perceives as prey, including humans. Owing to the fact it is only a skeleton, any consumed matter will fall out through the neck, ribs and mouth. SCP-251 The Deceptive Snow Globe SCP-251 is a snow globe that depicts a number of different scenes. All the scenes are of a realistic or fantastical violent nature. Recorded scenes have included giant spiders pursuing a skier, a person being executed, and animals being dropped down a well. SCP-252 Humboldt Squid SCP-252 is a subspecies of Humboldt Squid that uses higher levels of chromatophores to trick its prey into thinking it is a massive sea creature. Affected people will attempt to escape at the nearest possible exit, completely disregarding any and all obstacles, even those that would cause physical harm. Test subjects have been viewed in containment, throwing themselves at containment walls repeatedly in an attempt to escape. SCP-253 The Cancer Plague SCP-253 is a contagion that matches the physiological traits of cancer. It is contagious through skin-to-skin -skin contact and starts with the development of skin lesions before progressing into the development of neoplasms on the brain. More lesions will develop, causing extreme pain and immobility. 
Subjects will usually expire within five days. SCP-254, Employee of the Month. SCP-254 is a rectangular wooden plaque with the words Employee of the Month inscribed at the bottom. When SCP-254 is hung on a wall in a work area of four or more people, SCP-254-1 will appear soon afterwards. SCP-254-1 is an incorporeal human of variable gender, age and ethnicity that will begin to complete menial tasks quickly and efficiently. After one month, its performance skills will begin to degrade. Within 20 days of this degradation, removal of the plaque will constitute a firing scenario. Once fired, the humanoid will disappear and then actively sabotage the work area in the most destructive manner possible, posing a severe hazard to any nearby personnel. SCP-255 Base 11 Disorder SCP-255 is an anomalous infectious phenomena of extraterrestrial origin manifesting as a neurological disorder with multiple symptoms. The infection appears to affect those with higher brain functions and those with a cerebral cortex with greater than 5.4 billion neurons. SCP-256 Trapped in the Typewriter SCP-256 is a typewriter with the consciousness of a living person trapped inside it. SCP-257 Professor William Woodworth's Collection of Curiosities SCP-257 is an abandoned zoological garden and park that contains a number of animals that vary widely in appearance, behaviour and classification. Many do not appear to be related to any terrestrial animals. In a recovered document, the unknown owner said they were visiting other moons and planets to find new animals for the zoo. SCP-258 Weeping Frog SCP-258 is a simple bouncing playground rider seemingly designed to fit children of elementary school age and shaped like a stylized green frog with rotating handles on either side of its head. A continuous stream of white fluid streams from its eyes. Riding on the playground rider relieves negative symptoms and makes people feel more positive. Exposure can become addictive. SCP-259 The Wisenglass Spiral SCP-259 is a fractal image known as the Wisenglass Spiral. A complete image will create a portal to an unknown location. The locations depend on the size and orientation of the image, but have included a black hole, the center of the sun, and a room full of cockroaches. The fractal image was released on a number of CDs and is currently being used by some terrorist organizations. SCP-260 – The Tracking Stone SCP-260 is a stone that constantly tracks towards a person known as its target. The name of the person will appear on the stone and not change until the stone has reached its target. Once the stone reaches its target, it will enter through the chest pulverizing all organs in its way. Once the person dies, the name on the stone will change and the stone will begin tracking the new person. SCP-261 Pan-Dimensional Vending SCP-261 is a vending machine that contains no food or beverages However, dispenses snack-based products when a suitable currency and code are entered into the keypad. SCP-261 can operate without a working power supply, but the outcomes will become unstable. While these new outcomes are still considered as food, they are not suitable for consumption. SCP-262 – A Coat of Many Arms SCP-262 is a light brown European military-style grey coat. When worn correctly, and opened, a number of additional arms will manifest from within the inner lining of the coat. The wearer can control these arms through thought and complete multiple tasks at once due to the additional limbs. SCP-263 Cash or Ash SCP-263 is a black and white television that when turned on, shows a game show called Cash or Ash. The viewer will become a new contestant and be asked three questions by the game show host. If the contestant gets the questions right, they will win a prize that will manifest in front of them. If they answer incorrectly or fail to answer, they will immediately combust. SCP-264 – Skeleton Temple SCP-264 is a sentient humanoid skeleton with a temple in its pelvis and abdomen area. The temple has a number of figures within it that obey its every command. 
SCP-264 claims to be able to see the threads of fate of a person, essentially being able to see a person's entire life. SCP-265 Black Volga SCP-265 is a Black Volga car that moves by itself and has no human occupants. SCP-265 appears in situations that would cause a person fear, such as appearing behind other cars on empty roads and pulling onto people's driveways. SCP-266 Will-O-The-Wisp SCP-266 is a number of floating masses taking the form of a gaseous material with a red or purple hue. SCP-266 is cold to the touch and exerts an endothermic effect on its surroundings. SCP-266 will seek any and all sources of heat with humans being its favoured source. However, due to its endothermic effect, extended exposure will result in acute hypothermia. SCP-267 Tumavor SCP-267 are hairless, sightless, carnivorous rodents that form colonies underground. They hunt in packs and will bring down prey in groups by using their extremely potent venom to paralyze the prey for transport back to the colony. Once at the colony, the prey's form of locomotion is removed. The areas of the bite will then begin to develop tumors which SCP-267 specimens will begin to feed on while keeping the subject alive, often years at a time, to prolong the food supply. SCP-268 Cap of Neglect SCP-268 is a tweed wool newsboy cap. When worn, the wearer will become unmemorable, thoroughly ignorable, or taken for granted by all observers. When people are asked about the encounter, they will simply refer to the subject as the guy wearing the hat. SCP-269 Dialysis Bracelet SCP-269 is a jade bracelet that extends tendrils into the wearer's arteries and begins to filter the blood like a dialysis machine. At first, it will remove infections, viruses, and pathogens. Secondly, it will remove white blood cells. Thirdly, it will remove red blood cells and platelets. Subjects will usually expire within one week unless the subject receives massive blood transfusions. SCP-270 Secluded Telephone SCP-270 is a nondescript black phone of mid-20th century make. It produces a whole variety of different sounds, some of which are completely unintelligible. Sounds heard include names, cryptic phrases, unknown animal sounds, nursery rhymes, metallic sounds, and screaming. SCP-271 Inscribed Disc SCP-271 is a metallic disc recovered from a shrine belonging to the Church of the Broken God. The carvings on the disc will spread to any nearby surface but cannot penetrate non-gaseous fluids. Spreading to organic matter is an extremely painful process and causes slow petrification in the organism. SCP-272 An Old Iron Nail SCP-272 is an iron nail that manifests its properties when dropped onto an individual shadow. Once the nail is dropped onto a person's shadow, the nail will embed itself into the surface and restrict the person's movements to that of their shadow. The restricted individual cannot remove the nail by any means. SCP-273 Human Phoenix SCP-273 is a middle-aged Indian woman who has no need to eat or drink. SCP-273 suffers from a hunger that needs to be fulfilled every 12 hours. SCP-273 has a preference of meat and prefers not to satisfy her hunger with live subjects. SCP-273 will burn the item from the outside inwards through a process of oxidation, resulting in a fine white ash. If SCP-273 is terminated, she will burn into a white ash and slowly reform. SCP-274 Graffito SCP-274 is a paint of variable colour. When applied to a building, it will begin to spread and cover the entire building and any walls connected to the building. The interior walls will become gastrodermis and the exterior will become a protective shell. Strange sounds will then begin to emanate from within the building to lure people in to investigate. When a person enters the building, they will be sucked into the walls and processed into an SCP-274-2 instance. SCP-274-2 instances 
are organisms made of SCP-274 that will ambush subjects who enter the building to facilitate the gathering of more people for food. SCP-275 Iron Skin SCP-275 is a woman who is completely impenetrable to any form of damage. Her skin cannot be pierced by any known implement, and she is not susceptible to high heat or radiation. Her hair and nails are also incredibly strong and require the use of lasers and angle grinders in order to maintain. SCP-276 Time Schooner SCP-276 has a variable shape, but always appears to be a nautical vessel of make and model, relevant to whatever era it exists in. On SCP-276's bridge near the wheel of the ship is a throttle labelled forward, back and back again. Forward and back are self-explanatory, back again will bring the ship and its occupants back to the present day and time. SCP-277 Chalkland SCP-277 is a town in which the anomalous properties of SCP-277 take place. Children within the town have the involuntary ability to project apparitions of images composed of white lines. Passing through the images causes no damage to either the images or the person passing through them. Children will often play with these apparitions, and the entire scenario is considered normal by the townsfolk. SCP-278 A Large Mechanical Spider SCP-278 is a large mechanical construct in the form of a spider. It can be operated and controlled by a number of gears and levers within the body of the construct. Despite this, it is autonomous and will construct webs made from nylon fibre when not being operated. SCP-279 Meandering Man SCP-279 is a man in his early 40s who spontaneously appears and disappears in an undisclosed town. He will walk around, stare and look through windows with no obvious aim. Skin-to-skin -skin contact will result in the other person disappearing as well. SCP-280 Eyes in the Dark SCP-280 is a black human-shaped mass with two large white eyes on the head and two hands with very long and thin fingers. No feet or legs are visible as the lower portion of the body appears to fade away several centimetres from the ground. SCP-280 will attack and kill humans by tearing at them with its hands causing massive trauma. SCP-280 is susceptible to strong light and will attempt to retreat in the presence of them. SCP-281 The Snooze Alarm SCP-281 is a makeshift device that features a built-in timer. Pressing the snooze button will create a localised time anomaly. Nine minutes within the anomaly equates to one millisecond outside of it. SCP-282 Ritual Devil Sticks SCP-282 is a children's toy in the form of juggling sticks that are supposed to bring good luck. They were part of an annual tradition used by natives. SCP-283 A Rock That Falls Sideways SCP-283 is a rock that is falling eastwards around the earth instead of downwards. SCP-284 The Twins SCP-284 are a pair of twins who share one brain. SCP-284-1 has the left side of the brain, and SCP-284-2 has the right side. Furthermore, they share the same skills, memories, and thoughts. SCP-285 A Hack Job SCP-285 is an anomalous humanoid entity with no defined shape or internal structure, with an ethernet port on its back. Accessing the Ethernet port allows access to SCP-285's internal database. The database holds a number of text, audio and video files alongside a number of cognito hazards. 90% of these files are corrupted and editing these files will cause SCP-285's physical appearance and psychological state to change. SCP-286 The Brothers Game SCP-286 is a board game that displays anomalous properties for a human coming into physical contact with it. SCP-287 Clark's Third Favourite Sword SCP-287 is a viking sword made from iron and a number of unknown materials. When an electrical current is passed through the hilt, it will cause electromagnetic radiation to be emitted. Radiation produced by SCP-287 causes all humans who are exposed to it to experience acute audio-visual hallucinations and severe headaches. SCP-288 
the Stepford marriage rings. SCP-288 consists of a woman's engagement ring and a matching man's band. When a woman wears the engagement ring, she will become an ideal housewife, with a love for cooking, cleaning and knitting. If a man wears the matching band, he will become an all-American dad, with a love for authority figures, working long hours and remaining unconditionally motivated. SCP-289 Inertial Amplifier SCP-289 is an irregularly shaped mass of hematite. SCP-289 has the property of intensifying the effects of inertia over objects. Objects that remain immobile will become more and more difficult to move, while objects maintaining a constant speed will become very difficult to stop. SCP-290 The Picasso Machine SCP-290 is a metallic sphere with a hatch on one side. If a person enters the sphere and closes the hatch, the machine's anomalous properties will manifest. After 5-20 to 20 minutes the hatch will open to reveal the same person, but with all their organs and limbs reorientated into a new arrangement. All subjects report extreme pain and difficulty in breathing. SCP-291 Disassembler Reassembler SCP-291 is a machine that can disassemble and reassemble a human being. It is possible to switch body parts with another person, replace lost limbs with other people's limbs, and even switch body parts with some animals. However, the latter can end with mixed results. SCP-292 Egg Timer of Deja Vu SCP-292 is a 60 second brass hourglass. If a person flips the timer before the 60 seconds has elapsed, everyone in the nearby area will experience deja vu. The severity of this depends upon their proximity to SCP-292. SCP-293 Obsession SCP-293 is currently held to be some form of intangible force or presence. SCP-293 bonds to physical items, in most cases small, lightweight items. SCP-293 causes those affected by it to become progressively obsessed with the item it is bonded to. Observation and physical contact with the item will accelerate the process. Subjects will become increasingly antisocial and will become violent against anyone who attempts to remove the item. SCP-294 The Coffee Machine SCP-294 is a vending machine that could dispense any drink requested. Previous requests have included gold, anti-water, leukemia, and the blood of Christ. One researcher requested the perfect drink. The researcher later committed suicide, leaving a note that read, I'm sorry, but at this point everything is just one big letdown. SCP-295 Caterpillars SCP-295 are a number of caterpillars that give off a substance that has the ability to cause violent combustion in any flammable object it comes into contact with. SCP-296 Armed Containment Site 3 In the middle of a blast crater as a result of Armed Containment Site 3 detonating its on-site nuke, a series of stone steps lead down into an amphitheater-type structure. Around the edges are a number of humanoid structures composed of ice. A number of the SCP objects at ACS-3 were transplanted into the ice figures when it was destroyed. A figure within the amphitheater claiming to be Judgment will pass judgment on anyone who enters and if they are found guilty, will be killed using one of the SCP objects. SCP-297 Steely Dan SCP-297 is a transparent plastic vibrator with a miniaturized nuclear reactor in place of a battery. Setting the battery to the highest setting will cause the atomic structure to fall apart of anything it comes into contact with. Invariably, it will kill the person using it and can reduce a block of concrete to powder in a few seconds. SCP-298 The Blood Organ SCP-298 is a chamber organ that when played, induces the blood within human subjects to slowly expel itself from the subject's bodies. SCP-299 Infectious Tree SCP-299 is an arboriform organism characterized by black, sharp-pointed branches. SCP-299 is capable of growing roots that will ensnare other trees to turn them into SCP-299 instances. Anyone who gets too close to an SCP-299 specimen will be ensnared, impaled, 
and slowly absorbed into the tree to become part of the organism. And that concludes this SCP summarized video. Please be sure to check back at the end of next month for SCPs 300 to 399. Be sure to check out the social media pages for video updates. Check out the SCP Illustrated shop for posters and prints. All the links can be found below. And if you don't want to wait days and weeks for new material, then consider joining the Patreon. You get early video access, see all the sketches early, request your own sketches, get your name in every video, and so much more. And thank you to Andres, Tiger Sharp, Vence, Dr. Uyghur, Alexander, Sanchez, Hithel, Exalted Galaxy, Andy98, Jet E Boy, Generals Alert, JT Walker, SCP 106A, Rick Traxon, and Sam B. Big thanks to Steamy, Frank, Hunter Killer, Lenhox, Captain Core and Kibara, and huge thanks to Viger, Kamana, and Zanan. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all soon, and take care.